Hello everyone, I am Doodleman86 and today I am going to be reviewing my first SH Figure Arts on the channel. SH Figure Arts is a brand of Tamashi Nations which specializes in creating highly accurate action figures utilizing advanced modeling and movement techniques. They have made many characters from many different franchises such as Dragon Ball, Kamen Rider, and many more. But today I'll be looking at a character from my second favorite franchise, Ultraman. The Giant from the Land of Light. Little history that Ultraman was created by A.G. Tsuburaya, the same man who made the special effects for Godzilla, and it was produced by Tsuburaya Productions, and is one of the most popular tokusatsu series as popular as Godzilla. So this figure is actually a retooling, or repaint more so, of the Ultraman C-type figure, and the only difference is the paint, so... Today I'm going to be reviewing this New York Comic Con 2022 exclusive and see if he is worth picking up. So taking a look at the box, it's very small and I guess it's because I'm used to collecting monsters, but it's a very thin and small box, so that's just a shock to me. But we have this recreation of the art who I believe was done by Alex Ross, so kudos to him because it looks amazing. And I like that it's the pose he is in. He looks very nice. He looks one with the art. We have all the Rise of Ultraman. As you have a recreation of one of his poses. There's the other side, the top. And then the back has a little window showing the figure and him in a few poses. And I like this box. I like how it's Ultraman's color patterns. It's very nice. It's a really cool box. So on to the figure. So just like my Monster Arts reviews, I'm going to start out with the articulation first and then go on from there. So... At the base of the head, we have a peg, which lets him look up and down pretty nice, left and right, pretty decent. And due to Ultraman's design, they utilized a system here where the back of the fin goes into the neck, which allows for a natural look, which I think looks very nice and is very well done. Here at the base of the neck, we have a ball joint, which is going to do a lot of the work here. So he looks very high up, pretty nice far down, very well done. I love it. Here at the shoulders, we actually have a hinge and a swivel, so he can hinge at any direction, and it can go as so. Oh, well, there's the swivel in the shoulder for you. But yeah, his shoulders can go in a swivel and a hinge, which I think is very nice. The shoulder swivel, as you saw. There's a double hinge system here at the elbow, and you can get the elbow to swivel. It's very tight, though. Be careful which wibbles here at the top part. So be careful with that if you're gonna do it. There is also swivel and hinge here at the wrist. So hinge in one direction, goes a full 360 swivel. Very well done. Here at the upper chest, we have a ball joint, which does pretty far nice forward and back, left and right, also pretty good, but you're gonna get a lot of it from in the waist, which is also on a ball joint. And it's gonna be doing a lot of the work for you there, as you can see. And the same system with the fins is utilized here, but as you can see, it doesn't go into the body. It's just separate, so there is that. The hips are have a hinge, and they can go back and forth, which is very nice. Very tight thigh swivel, but it still moves slightly. If you were to dry heat dry it up, I think it can move a lot better. We have a double hinge at the knees, which is actually on a ball joint which I didn't find out until his leg, until I popped his leg off. So it is on a ball joint, but it's more so a double hinge. That's mainly what it is utilized for. And then here at the ankles, we have the hinge and the swivel. Nice pivot, as you can see. And then here we have a hinge at the toe. So overall, I really like Ultraman's articulation. It lets him pull off some very nice poses. Very sweet, creative, and very flexible poses, so I think they did a very good job with Ultraman's articulation. I love it. This is basically a reissue of the C-type suit with a new coat of paint, so I I don't know if there's any differences between that figure and this one, if it's just the paint or is there something else, but I assume it is just the paint. So here at the face, we have very nice eyes. The little patterns within look excellent, and the yellow looks great. I like the pattern there. And you can see they even made the little eye holes where the suit actor would see out of. They look very nice and natural on Ultraman here. So I think that's just very well done. And then we have the fin, which looks great. And the mask and the ears. And they even have the switch in there, which is very nice. 
and the silver they used is a silver metallic and there's a few hints of blue as you can see in the body to replicate his appearance in the comics to make it like blue shading in the marvel comics so i think they did a very great job with that and we have some dark spots between the pecs here and then at the knees so i don't know what's with those spots but they do look nice so you have that as well and i love the patterns here with the red they did it very cleanly it looks very nice with the red and silver contrasting each other it looks great and the metallic color they used is very shiny it is very good looking the sculpt is very nice his huge upper chest the color timer looks great nice and blue i like how they did that it looks so lifelike and i like how the red looks like flesh almost like a suit i think they did a great job with that here we have some more of the dark spots some wrinkles in the hands looking very great the back fin very nice and i like how it curves a little to replicate the suit we have ultra butt cheeks here and we have his legs and he did a little dive there as you can see very smooth skin very nice we have his feet which look great and yeah very flat feet here so overall i really like ultraman's sculpt and paint i think they did a great job with it he looks fantastic looking very nice ultraman very nice looking ultraman he does come with some accessories he comes with two pairs of hands and an alternate color timer so we get a pair of chopping hands and you can see they also feature the same blue shading so they didn't just reissue these as well without it look very nice then we have some hands with some splayed out fingers so here they are they look very nice they also kind of have the wrinkles which i think looks great you can see they look very nice i assume these hands are for specific scene or pose he does in the comics but i don't know because i haven't read the comics and then here we have the alternate color timer which is just the red one when he is in low energy form so i'll show you all how to switch it out right now so ultraman's color timer is basically plugged in there so you just gotta take it out pull it out be very careful like that and make sure you have a sort of safe spot for it because if you lose it it's gone forever because it is very tiny so you can see that the color or the uh, how do i say this the unsculpted part down here is basically what you put at the bottom and if i can just put it in there correctly and yeah that is basically how you want to put it in it has a very nice sculpt and paint looks great so grab it around the base of the color timer, which is the little silver ring. And I know I skipped a scene, but that is because I am, well, every review I do, I'm hunched over the desk. So yeah, but you get the idea. That's basically how you take it out and put it in. And to replace the hand parts, you just want to safely take out the hand that is currently on. And you just want to put in the new one same way. I find this annoying where the swivel basically makes the joint go forward or back very annoying it's even worse when you're hunched over a desk but there you go that is how you put the hands apart on and yeah it looks very nice overall pretty great accessories i love them ultraman here stands at about i well if my eyesight can allow me to see i believe he is 5.7 inches tall i think he is almost exactly six so here are some size comparisons with a few other figures including a few other Figuarts Ultraman figures that I have. Very nice to have them. As you can see, I'm trying to collect all of the Ultra Brothers that I would like to own all someday. And reviews for these guys will also be coming this year. So if you're excited for that, well, get ready soon because it's coming soon. Here are a few Monster Arts figures to see how he scales with his fellow Tokusatsu brother. Great to see both of these guys together. And here are just a few more figures. I would also like to say that if this is the Ultraman you want, he will be a very nice size. He is not super big, not super small, and I believe he looks pretty great next to every Godzilla incarnation, at least the ones I have. Because me personally, I think he stands great. I think his great size is if he stands at least a little bit above Godzilla's shoulder or same size as him. So yeah, not too big, not too small. He's a pretty great size. All in all, I have to say, this is an awesome figure. The sculpt is accurate to his appearance in the show, but more so it's cleaned up to look like the comic, 
appearance, which again, I wouldn't know how he looked or what he did, but the new paint looks marvelous. I like the blue shading and the dark spots are very nice. I just think that the blue tones with the within the silver body just add life to the character. It just makes him look so, it makes him stand out, it makes him look unique. And I really do like that. He's also very fun to play with as my first fig warts. Well, actually, sort of first-ish. There is another who will get his review, too. I have to say, he is very, very flexible. And again, maybe it's because it's my first fig warts. But he is... A, or actually, maybe it's because he's humanoid, too. But he is a very, very poseable. He can pull off some really nice poses. And he has a really great potential. He just moves so well. And you can get him in so many crazy poses. I love him. And the price can range from 50 to $100. Of course, you want to want to pay a hundred dollars, so it's not the worst price if you pay for something like sixty dollars for this exclusive. I do highly recommend picking this guy up because he's pretty great and the blue tones are pretty nice. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.